Now, to add or remove movement in your eye story or your eye movie. So, you can see here as I drag my cursor across that there's a little bit of movement in this on my with my pictures. It's zooming in, zooming in. Ah. Now, to change the amount of movement, you want to click on the section that you'd like to change and then there's this blue arrow. Click on the arrow and then click on cropping, Ken Burns and rotation. Now, they have these options at the top. And when you click on fit, that shows that the entire thing is fit on the screen. You have these options here available for any of these, fit, crop, or, or Ken Burns, and things like rotate, or this will give you a preview if you push this um, play clip. So fit pretty much means that it's not going to move at all. If you see, I'm previewing it now, it's not moving, it's, there's no movement at all. Now, when I select crop, this is allowing me to select what I want to show on my image. So I can move this a little bit. You see here that it's stopping me when I hit the black. That's because to allow this black to show, you need to click on allow black. And now you can see that it fits the whole thing. I can adjust so that I have a different amount of black in each one. This little green T is showing the middle of your frame. If you don't want any black to show, you can again click disallow black. Now, Ken Burns is the one that allows movement. So by clicking on Ken Burns, you see that you have two boxes now. You have a start box and an end box. Start is green and is red. So I can see that I'm in my start box here because I have the little corners showing on the side. So I want to position my start box where I want it to start. So if I want it to do a, like a pan up thing going on, then I move my Ken Burns start box so that it's positioned about here. Then once I have, I can adjust the sizes and all that, all things like that. Once I have it positioned where I want it to start, then I can click on the outside of the start box and it will highlight my end box. Now my end box now has those little corner fobs here and I can move it around. You see that this little arrow lengthens because this is the middle of my start box and this is the middle of my end box. And this is just showing me the direction that my movement is going to go. If I allow black for instance, I can move my end box by making it a little bit smaller and you'll see that when I do that my start box is over here and I can move it over here so my zoom effect is gonna be starting here and ending all the way over here I'm gonna select play so that you can see what that looks like Ooh, what a nice effect. So if that's what I want, then I select done.